when, when we use a web browser, like Chrome, we have Google Chrome here, um, the purpose of that web browser is to basically read whatever the HTML information is that the website's giving it through the internet. <laughs> so that basic um, train wave of HTML through the internet to your browser is giving you all the HTML tags and such to be able to read the website properly. Um, Not so all the websites are like for reading stuff, like it could be a game website. Yeah, it could be a game website or, or whatever. Um, so you might have Chrome, Edge, Firefox, Safari, there's a bunch of other ones, um, but they read those HTML documents and display them correctly. Um, and now sometimes, like, you know, we have Safari on our phone. If we go to a website that, you know, we're inputting HTML documents that we don't quite um, have the ability to read with just Safari on our phone, it might not be able to input all of the data that's given in the HTML. So that's why you might see, like, um, let's say you go to a website on your phone that looks like this, <laughs> but on your browser it looks much, much different. That's because it has, you know, an inability to read whatever the HTML code is that's being given to the browser. Does that make sense? Uh -huh. 